On this show, you'll see guitars from all major manufacturers and small bench luthiers. I've had the pleasure of reviewing over 500 acoustic guitars, and in each review, I play the same songs recorded the same way, so you can compare the sound of any guitar I've ever reviewed. I'm Tony Policastro. Welcome to Acoustic Guitar Heaven. All right, today we're gonna have a look at the Martin 00L17. Now this is a model that when it came out, I immediately was enamored by it. I, th I saw it and I thought, that looks like a killer blues guitar. It had a sunburst finish, it was a satin finish, and I thought, it just looks simple, yet really, really elegant. And I gotta be honest, after playing it for a while, I think that's exactly what it offers. Now this model is also offered in a jet black finish, but because the sunburst looked so cool, I thought, I'm gonna grab the sunburst one and review that one for you. So what we have on the 00L17 is a solid Sitka spruce top with a straight rosewood bridge, a bone drop-in saddle. Underneath the hood, there's scalloped X bracing that's also made out of Sitka spruce and it's quarter inch. So it's a little bit lighter and I think it really lends some responsiveness to this particular guitar. Around the top, we have grained ivory binding, which to me is a nice finished touch and I just love the way it looks. Ivoroid is just, it's just a magical substance. I love it. It's a plastic, but it just, it grabs my heart every single time. The back and sides are solid mahogany. And again, as I mentioned, this is all done in a satin finish and a very thin finish, which I think lets the guitar breathe and kind of resonate pretty darn well. The neck is mahogany. It's a modified low oval profile, which it feels, thick but very comfortable. It's not overly thick like a vintage profile and it has the performing artist taper so it stays pretty consistent all the way to the body. The fingerboard is rosewood with large dot inlay. There's small dot inlay on the player side. Pretty easy on the eyes. Really nice and comfy to play. The, the nut is an inch and three quarter. It's made out of bone as well. Over here on the headstock it's an ebony overlay which looks really classy on this model. And also on the top is a 30 style decal, which again, I just think it wraps up the vibe of, this is an old looking guitar, this is an old sounding guitar. And speaking of old, there are golden age tuners on it and the bases are nickel, they're open gear and the buttons are plastic and it really kind of conjures up images of old guitars. I mean, if you look at this guitar from a distance, it looks old and it sounds old too. When I was playing it, I thought, it really offers a nice warm, woody tone, but it has that thump and articulation. I wasn't necessarily wowed by its bass response, but what I was wowed by was the fact that it was a very composed bass response. It was articulate. So as I was finger picking, I thought, nothing's really breaking up, nothing's really blending together. It's punchy, it's direct, it has great sustain. I just think it's a killer guitar and I really want you to know about it. So I'm going to give the Martin 00L17 a play so you can hear what it sounds like. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
I really hope you dug today's guitar review. I do these guitar reviews so that you can see what standard models are out there in case you're shopping for a guitar, and also so that you can start to hear different spec combinations so you can kind of refine your guitar taste, if you will. Now, in addition to guitar reviews, I also do interviews with guitar icons like Tommy Emanuel, Bob Taylor from Taylor Guitars, and even Paul Reed Smith and I really don't want you to miss any of them. I've got some great ones coming. So if you please take a second and subscribe to my YouTube channel, I'd really, really appreciate it. Oh, and one more thing. I absolutely love reviewing guitars for major brands as well as small bench luthiers. So if you happen to be a guitar builder of any kind, I'd love to hear from you. You can reach me at tonypolacastro.com forward slash review. Thanks a lot, and I'll see you soon. <laughs>